Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to shade every other row. Or maybe you wanted to shade every other second, third, or fourth row. So this example is showing you the shading for every other row. We shaded it blue here, or, or you can say white here. And for in this example, we shaded every other third row yellow. Or if we wanted to make it a little more dynamic, maybe we put a little helper cell here. We wanted to shade every other fifth row, and it shades every other fifth row. So I'll go through how to do this one first, and then how to do this one that's a little bit more dynamic. So let's go and figure out how to do this one. So if you wanted to shade every other row, it's really basically as simple as just creating a table and then reverting that table back into the range and just using Excel's existing styles. So what we want to do is just click anywhere in the table and we go under the, under the Home tab, under the Styles grouping, go under Format as a Table and it will let you select uh, some options, different styles. So if we wanted to select every other row, we can just and had have the hud header also have a style or some shading. We can select something here or here, and depending on what you like. So maybe we choose something like uh, this purple color, and we want to make sure we want to shade our headers a different color and have this checked off where my header, my table has headers. Click OK, and you see now it's kind of shaded it and uh, a, a purple lavenderish color for every uh, other uh, row. Now, maybe we don't need these table features that, such as filtering, etc., and, and all the other nice little features in the table. We just want it to have it shaded. We can just turn this back into a range. So when you go back into the table design, table tools, context menu, go into design, and just convert it back to a range. And what it's going to do is going to ask you if you want to do that, click yes, and now the table features are gone. You just have the shading that is left. So that's how to do it with converting it to a table and then converting it back to a range. Let's show you how to do it the other way where we can do it a little bit more dynamic. We'll go into sheet 3 here. Now what this entails is it's using uh, conditional formatting and also uh, some functions, the, the mod function and the rows function. So what we want to do first is we want to create uh, a function where it counts the rows. So what that's going to do, that's going to be the rows function. So we do rows, and then the array is, we're going to start off with A2. That's going to be our first row. And we want to count it to A2 for this cell for now. What we also want to do is make sure the first A2 is an absolute cell reference. And so what happens is we, when we copy it down, that doesn't change. Since there's no dollar signs in front of the A or 2 here, when we copy it down or or to the right or wherever, the references will change and I'll show you what that means. So let's just complete this function and press enter. So we see here it's going to count the row. It's going to count this is the first row here. So if I copy it down, let me left click this fill handle and bring it down. You can see it counts. This is the second row, third row, fourth row. And as it's going down, you can see that this reference data stays the same, but this one increases. So if I go down, let me do the right down the down arrow button on the keyboard. You can see the A3 goes A4, A5, A6, but the A2 dollar, dollar signs A2 stays the same. So that's the count. It counts the rows. So what we want to do is we want to put this formula and put it into the mod function. The mod function, what it does is it divides a number and it shows you the remainder. So what we want to do here is we want to do mod and we want to have this number Maybe we want it divided by 2, so every other row. And when it divides by 2, if it's an even number, it'll give you the remainder of 0, right? So 1, it'll give you the remainder of 1. 2, it'll give you the remainder of 0. And let me just go ahead and double click the fill handle to bring it down here. So every other number where it's an even number, because dividing by 2 will give you a 0, right? So what we want to do is combine these two functions together. So I'm going to do equal the rows and we'll start from there to there and we want to make that an absolute cell reference just for the first one. I pressed F4 to do that and we want to do select that in F4 a couple of times press F4 and make it back into a relative cell reference and let's say I want to divide this by 2 alright control enter oops what did you, oh, I forgot to put the mod function in there. All right, mod. All right, mod, the row, count of the row numbers, and the divisor is 2. 
press enter and now when I bring it down it's on one function instead of having this reference this cell right so what I want to do is I want to take that formula copy that escape to get out of that selection and select this table go either go in conditional formatting here or or press the keyboard shortcut alt o d and select a new rule and I want to determine the rule with a formula and I'm going to go ahead and paste that formula in there and let's say the colors that I want I'll probably want maybe orange All right, click OK click OK and it's going to highlight let me go back to the edit rule so right now it's going to highlight every other row click OK and see now it's highlighted every other row so what if you wanted to highlight have it more dynamic like I showed over here where it highlights every other fifth row, fourth row, based on what you choose. So if we wanted to do that, we would actually make, I'll go ahead and delete this now, delete these columns. We would have to kind of make a kind of a helper cell here. I'll just call this row marker. And maybe this will be, uh, initially it will be three. So what I'm going to do is I want to need in this in the cell where it does the conditional format, I didn't want to have it reference cell G2. So let me select there. Let me select this table here. Press Alt O D. Oops. Alt O D. And go ahead and edit this format. So I want to have it where this divisor, oops, this divisor, this number two, I want to have it where it references cell G3 and it's got to be absolute cell reference because when it copies it down it wants it stays the same so G3 G3 and now just press F4 once and it'll put the dollar signs in front click OK click OK and now whoops what happened ah, let's go ahead and do alt OD edit rule and let's see, mods A2 to A3. G oh, it's not G3. <laughs> it's G2 because it's, it's blank. G2. Click OK. Click OK. And now you have it where it shades every other cell white. And what we want to do is we want to make it equal to zero. <laughs> Press OD. Alt OD. Edit rule. And what we want to do is we want to have it where it equals to zero. Because we remember, we will, if it's divided by three, every other third cell divided by three is zero. The remainder is zero. So we want to do that. I forgot to add that zero in there. Click OK. Click OK. And now every other, every third cell is zero. If you want to do fourth, every not third cell, but third row. Every fourth row now is going to be highlighted. Or if you want every, or if you want every other fifth row, that will be highlighted. And now you can just do some other formatting. Maybe you want to give it borders around it and, and give the headings a nice little cell style, uh, maybe red. All right. So you can do this, and you can select every other third row, fourth row. So that's the formula to do that. So here were the two examples where you can shade every other row or shade every row that you selected, every other fourth, third row, fourth row, or fifth row. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.